Part 3 of this video, we're going to take a look here at how we can uh, animate our player and call the animation directly through uh, the code and how we can flip our character uh, directly through code as well when it's moving in one direction or another. And we're going to also uh, take a look at how we can export variable directly into Godot in C Sharp. This course has been made possible by all the people that have been buying my course on Udemy. I have three courses there. I have one that is about how to create a GD Metroidvania platformer uh, in GDScript. Uh, I have another one that is about how to create a 2D RPG in GDScript. And I have another one that is about how to create a 2D RPG in C Sharp. So I let, to, I let you check uh, the link in the description of this video. And all the links obviously are discounted. Uh, also, like uh, soon, I'm going to have my Steam page for my game, Lone Knight, because uh, that's why I'm making also that series of, uh, of uh, tutorials because I'm, re I'm making my I'm remaking my game Lone Knight in C Sharp uh, using Godot. So that's why I'm showing you how to do that. And soon my uh, Steam page is going to be validated and I will put it in the link of the description of uh, all my videos. So just check sometimes and if you see the link, please consider to wishlist it. That will help. OK, let's go to the tutorial. And we're gonna just right now create a camera so it's gonna make it easier for you to actually visualize uh, the change we are making in the code. So for that, I'm gonna click just on level. I'm gonna click on the plus icon right here and I'm gonna look for the camera 2D node. I'm gonna go here on create and I'm gonna just rename this camera. And here with camera selected, I'm gonna go to the right and uh, I'm gonna do a several change here. So anchor mode, I'm gonna click from drag center. I'm gonna put it to fixed top left. I'm gonna click on current which is going to activate that sort of like purplish uh, pinkish line that you're seeing right now. And I'm just going to adjust the size because you can see that right now that um, that uh, box is like too big. And my game is 320 pixel by 180 pixel. So I'm just going to do I'm just going to put like dot uh, 32 and dot 32. Right now I'm going to save and if I launch the game, it should uh, display our player way more nicely. So let's have a look. Voila. And so we can move our player, but we can't uh, animate it right now. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to just click on my player uh, here. I'm going to click on my script, uh, my script and it's going to open VS Code. And in VS Code, uh, I'm going to make the changes that are needed. So uh, if you have, uh, haven't seen the, the, the last video, just go and see it because like, uh, it's important. Uh, but to just make a little summary, like so I have put my move, uh, my movement into a move function that is right here, public void. And so the way I've done my stuff is that movement is uh, on a variable and that variable store vector 2.0. I apply on that move, movement.x or so the vector x, which is the original horizontal axis. I am applying uh, the input, which are like the for me the left and right arrow key. And I'm saying that if uh, uh, an input uh, is not equal to uh, zero, so if we are pressing a key, uh, I'm uh, adding force to a velocity. That's what I do. Uh, and the thing that I need for now, uh, now is to call the animation. And for calling the animation, we need first to have a reference to our um, animation player, because if we're going back to Godot, we have here on animation player, and that's the one that is uh, in charge of displaying our animation. So I need to go into uh, my code and here I'm going to tap public animation, uh, animation player. And I'm going to rename it anim and I'm going to initialize that now into uh, my ready function. So here in ready function, I'm going to say anim equal to get node. I'm going to um, open angular bracket uh, for casting the type of the node I want to uh, access, which is the animation player. And between uh, parentheses and quotes, I need to just give it the path. And you can see that uh, VS Code is already suggesting uh, the path. So here we have anim. And then here, now we can close. So now I can uh, access my animation. So here, the things that I need to do is just to go back into my move function. And here, when we are pressing, I just need to say anim dot play with, with a capital P. And here I need to say, uh, what was the my animation? I think it was walk, walk, voila. So uh, I need to come here and I need to say walk. And when I am not pressing any button here, I need to say anim dot play. And this time I need to call idle and I need to close with a semicolon. I'm saving. And if I launch the game now, uh, it should uh, play the animation. So let's see. The animation is playing. And if I move, 
it's okay, it played the animation and it stop when I uh, don't press the input. But you can see that the character is not flipping and that's what we're gonna do right now. So for flipping a character, there's uh, several ways, uh, but in C Sharp, there's some that are not actually not functioning for a reason that I don't know. So if you go to, sp to a player, if we go to our sprite, here, I'm just gonna zoom a little bit so you can see. Um, if we are going to our sprite, you can see that, voila, you can see that on the sprite, if I go to, I think it's offset, yeah, uh, flip edge, and if, if you can see that if I toggle that button, uh, it flipped the character, but in C sharp, I haven't found a way to make it work, but uh, anyway, there I have a, a, another version for that, so another solution for that, uh, I will say, so like, uh, the thing that I need to do, is uh, to, we're gonna change the scale. That's basically what we're gonna do. We're gonna flip the scale. But for flipping the scale, we, we need first to have a reference to our sprite. So here I need to say public sprite with a capital S and I'm gonna rename it sprite. And I need the, to do the same thing that I've done here on the ready function. I need to initialize uh, that component. So I need to say get node. I need to, uh, to open angular bracket sprite and between a parenthesis and quote i need to give it a path and here my path is a sprite with a capital s actually because sprite with a capital s is how it is named right here if right here it was named pizza i should put right here i should put pizza so now we have done that uh, i can uh, just call my sprite so here i need to have uh, a way to check if I am, uh, if my velocity is higher than zero or smaller than zero. So here I need to create an if statement and I need to say if, uh, between parentheses, I need to say if uh, movement dot x is uh, greater than zero, then I need to open uh, curly braces and I need to say here that, uh, so I need to just move that up so uh, for that i'm just selecting and i click alt and uh, the upper arrow key and i'm just uh, changing that and so here now what i need to do is like i need also to make a reference to our uh, scale and so here i need to call uh, i need to say sprite uh, scale and i need to set it equal to a new vector 2 and here is going to be one and one and so uh, this one here is for the x-axis and this one, this one right here is for the y-axis. And the reason why I am making a new vector 2 is like because when you are going into Godot uh, in player, if you go to your uh, transform, you can see that our transform here scale is there and you can see it is a vector 2. And so that's what we are making reference here. If here I put minus 1, it flips the character. And if I put one, it flips the character to the right side. So that's what we are that's what we are doing here. And so now I need to do the same, exact same, but this time I need here to say that up if the movement is smaller than uh, zero, up we need to this time um, subtract also the movement uh, speed. And here we need to say minus one. And with that done, uh, if I uh, launch the game, maybe I'm going to have an error, but like after, I don't think so, but let's see. So I can come here. Ah, voila. I, I was sure I was having an error. <laughs> so uh, why, is it that? why is it that? So I think it's because of this line right here. So I need to say up. Uh, if it is uh, less than zero, then we need to uh, say basically here velocity of x minus equal speed and here I can remove the movement I believe so I need to say here plus equal speed something like this and I think that now this is gonna solve the problem so let's have a look voila okay perfect but you can see like my uh, player is like uh, going way too fast and for that there's a simple fix we can just like uh, go into our move and we can uh, call delta delta is the um, frame per second is the frame rate of your game and by default on godot it's like 60 frame per second and so here the way i need to do that is i, I need to go into my move function and here i need to say float delta and now here i can multiply it by delta which is gonna uh, slow it down so i can come here I can come here and say delta. So now I need to here pass delta because I changed the name of the move function. 
And so now if I go back into Godot, it should have like slowed down my, uh, well, it has slowed down way drastically my uh, player. And But you can see that if I continue to press, you can see it, it takes more and more speed. And so after that, we're going to be in, in further video, we're just going to claim that. But right now, it's not what we're going to do. Uh, right now, I just want to show you another thing. It's like right now, if we want to modify the speed of our player, uh, we need to modify that function right here. Uh, and here we need to change that value, which is at the moment, uh, currently 20 frames per second. So uh, there's one way that we can do that. It's like we can export that into the inspector right here. And for doing so, what we need to do is like we need to open bracket like this and here we need to say export with a capital E and then here uh, we put a space and then we have our float uh, or um, our speed but if I save right now it's not gonna display into Godot and this is because of the way Godot is working Godot is made primarily to use uh, GDScript but C Sharp is extremely well integrated into Godot but there's one thing that we need to do it's like we need to go here and to run and debug and we need to uh, click on that play icon if you don't see that it's because you haven't uh, done what I've done in the uh, the first video of this series uh, at the end uh, you need to create uh, a launch JSON file and so like this it will fetch VS Code uh, and you will be able to uh, launch uh, your game directly for VS Code so if you don't see that you just need to watch the first video at the end around like I think it was eight or nine minutes uh, and uh, I show you how to do that it's very simple so uh, now I'm just gonna launch the game this way by pressing you can see that I have that like little menu that appears right here and so now if I just go here you can see that it launched the game perfect and so now I can move perfect I can do that okay perfect and so now I can just stop and if I go here you can see that now speed has appeared that's what you need to do so every time you are clicking on an export Every time you're clicking on an export, you uh, every time you want, sorry, to um, to create an export for variable, whatever the type it is, you need to put export between brackets and with a capital E the export, and then you need to reload the game directly through VS Code, and then it will pop up into uh, our inspector. In Unity, it's automatic uh, because Unity every time is like uh, rebuilding uh, the solution when you are closing uh, the script or when you're going back to, uh, to Unity. But in Godot, it's not automatic, so you need to do it by yourself. But that's it. So uh, that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to take a look at how we can have a camera that can follow our player. So basically, what I want to do is like when we are uh, when we are moving here to the to the left we're gonna have the camera that's gonna follow us right now it doesn't do anything but in the next video we will take uh, we will check how to do that uh, i just want to thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video bye